Hey guys, you want to check out this new game that I found? Joe, last time we played a game that you wanted, you ended up... Donald, he told us not to remind him, remember? Remind me of what? Oh, uh, don't worry, Joey, it's nothing. How about we play this game that you have found? Okay, Donald, that sounds cool. Apparently it is about something called the back rooms. Joe, we know what the back rooms are. I think just about everyone with an internet connection has heard about it like 50 times by now. What do you mean, Barack? I've never heard of it before. How could everyone have heard of it if I haven't? You probably have heard about it, Joe. You just do not remember because of all of that dementia that you are riddled with. I have not got dementia, Donald. My memory is just fine. It is, are, are you sure? Yeah, Barack, my, wait, what were we talking about again? Oh, don't worry, Joe. Let's just hop in the game already. Okay, I'm in, Donald. Where are you guys? I'm right behind you, Joe, turn around. Wait, I do not see you guys. Why am I the one that has to spawn alone? That is probably for the best, not gonna lie. Oh, hey, I found you guys. What was that you were saying, Joe? Because if you were talking shit, then it would be a real shame to have me catch you in the act like that. No, Donald, don't worry. I wasn't talking any shit. I was just uh, talking to my wife. Yeah, I was just talking to Jill. I know that is bullshit, Joe, because I have been texting Jill almost every day for the past two weeks, and I know that she is at yoga classes right now. Wait, you what? Don't worry, Joe. Look, there is a piece of paper here. Ooh, a piece of paper. It says that there is something we need to fix. It also shows an exit and some kind of wire guy that apparently does not want us to escape. No wire guy can stop me. This is a free country and I can do whatever I want. Tell that to your recent court case, Donald. It seems like there are some things that even you cannot do. No way, Barack. I only had to pay out a quick five mil for that. I can make that back in like half a day. I could do that like 20 more times today alone, and I would still be able to go and buy myself a new yacht afterwards. Wait, you have that much money, but you still ask us to share the server costs for the Minecraft servers? It is only fair that we all pay a third, Barack. Do not try to get out of it. Suck my ass, Donald. How about you just settle for assaulting 19 women instead of 20 for today? That way you can afford the server costs for all of eternity without even having to think about it. Not an option, Barack. How about you just stop being a cheap bitch and cough up the extra $5 a month to keep the servers up? How about no, Donald? Pay for it yourself. Okay, fine. If you are not going to help, then I'm just going to stop paying for the servers. Wait, no, Donald, please do not do that. I could not stand to lose my amazing house. Barack, please, it is only $5 a month. I'm going to be paying it too. Okay, fine. You are a real asshole though, Donald. You could so easily afford paying for it. As true as that might be, Barack, I did not become the intensely amazing businessman that I am by paying for everything that I could afford. I became it because I make sure that I make other people pay for every tiny little thing that I can. Oh, shut up, Donald. We all know here that you are only a businessman at all because you had a daddy that could give you all of the money that you needed to get going. That is not true and is fake news, Joe. Just you watch. I'm going to prove that I am the most capable and awesome person to have ever done anything ever. Donald, there is actually no way that you can do that because we all know that you are not. If you manage to do absolutely anything that would make us think that, then I will actually eat my own shoe. Oh my fucking God. You best get some barbecue sauce ready then, Joe, because I have just found whatever that thing that was on the paper was telling us to fix. Oh wow, he's got you there, Joe. It looks like a ladder. I wonder what is on the top. I'm checking it right now. Oh, what the fuck? It is just a stupid key. Why the fuck did we need a ladder for that? I so could have just jumped and grabbed it like that. Whatever, Donald. Let's go back and see if we can put that key in the door we found earlier. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, Barack. In the meantime, we can talk about how we are going to prepare Joe his five-course meal of shoe. I'm thinking we grill it with a bit of hot sauce and mix it with some ghost peppers. Oh yeah, that does sound pretty good, Donald. I think if you really want to add insult to injury, though, then you could give him some vegan ice cream as dessert. Oh, God, no, not the vegan ice cream. I think I would rather you just kill me instead. Be careful what you wish for, Joe. For now, though, we got to be careful, guys. We do not know what could be around here. Whoa, this looks trippy as hell. Why are there just a bunch of squares all around the place? I do not know, Joe. But since you are already there, how about you go first? What? No way, Donald. You wanted to prove how useful you are, right? You go first, then. Fine, Joe, I will. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's no bullshit. 
Why did it just kick me off like that? This shit is rigged. El Bozo, that is a skill issue. Watch how a true master does it. Absolutely flawless. I cannot wait for you to fall too, Barack. Oh, for fuck's sake. You just had to jinx me, didn't you, you orange bitch? That is what you get for talking shit, Barack. That is what we call karma. Keep this up, and you will end up having to take a bite of Joe's homemade shoe meal. Whatever, Donald. Whatever happened to the monster in this game anyway? I could have sworn this game was supposed to be scary. No way, Barack. They have left it way too late to be scary now. If this game manages to do anything that scares me, I might just join Joe in eating that shoe. Everything is better with friends, I guess. Okay then, guys. Let's get back to finding the exit now. This game is honestly starting to get pretty boring. Ah! Oh my god! What the fucking shit is that thing? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, Barack, run! It is still right behind you. I think I have already fucking figured that out, Joe. These signs better lead us somewhere safe. Oh man, that thing looks really scary. I am glad it is not chasing me. I do not think I could even handle that. Come on, Barack, keep moving. Maybe we can outrun it. It really does not sound like we are outrunning it, Donald. Well, we must be getting close to the end of these signs by now. We have almost gone in a circle. Oh, hey, look. There it is. There is the exit. Oh, thank God. For a second there, I really thought that we were gunners. Wait, where did you guys go? I lost you. I see you, Joe. Come check this out. It looks like it is some kind of household. Oh, are you sure it is okay for me to come in if it is someone's household? I do not want to barge in on someone's home without permission. What are you, a fucking vampire? Just start exploring, Joe. You don't need permission. Judging by that recent court case, Donald, you probably take that message to heart a little bit too much. Oh, shut up, Barack. Let's just get back to exploring already. Yeah, Barack. I kind of want to see what is at the end of this hallway up here. Well, you changed your tune quickly. Whatever happened to not wanting to go in without permission? Well, there is no one there, and I do not want to go back to the big scary guy to ask if it is his house. Besides, the piece of paper at the start told us that we had to escape. This place looks weird as hell. How did we go from a house to a massive parking lot so quickly? I knew that the back rooms were weird, but I did not know that they were this weird. Yeah, Barack. This game is really scary, too. That thing back there really gave me the creeps. I am so glad that he was not chasing me. I do not know what I would have done if he was. Yeah, Joe, that guy was honestly really scary. Being chased by him, I honestly thought that I was going to have a heart attack or something. Oh my God. If you were that scared, then I would hate to think what it would have been like for me. I honestly do not know how you guys were able to deal with it like you did. Um, Barack? I have been meaning to ask this for a while now. Was it really all right to invite Joe to play this game with us? I do not think he can handle this. I found some keys. And come on now, Donald, be more sensitive. Joe was also the one who suggested this game through TikTok. Yeah, I was the one who did, but this really does look more scary than what I saw. On second thought, can we please stop playing? This is too scary. I know, right? Like, who expected this game to have such a quality design and the game itself has a really creepy horror vibes you see in the movies? Of course it does. If it did not, then I would not have played such a lousy, boring ass game with you guys. But Joe should really not be here. Okay, now, Donald, what the hell is wrong with you? Can you please stop talking to Barack like I'm not goddamn here or something? And why the hell do you think that I should not be here? I mean, like... Come on now, Donald, spit it out so we can get this over with. Ah, what the hell is this guy? Someone please help me, shit crap freak. Why the heck is he chasing me? Chase someone else, please. Hurry up and get in this room, Barack. Juke the hell out of that guy and survive. You can do it, hurry. Okay, can't you see that I am trying? Shit, I just saw Donald get eaten sleepy, Joe. Do not come out. Ah, that was scary as fuck. What the heck, why did no one tell me? Are you trying to give me a heart attack or something? Shit, why the heck did you guys have to leave me? Hurry, open that door. Shit, shit. Ah, no, Barack is now dead. How can I get over his death? Why did he have to go? What the hell do you mean, Sleepy Joe? This is just a game. If this were true, then we wouldn't have been able to speak right now. This is why I told you earlier that you shouldn't have come. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. This is just a game, but it is too scary. And what the heck do you mean that I shouldn't have come? It is because you only have an IQ of a two-year-old kid with a hundred million-year-old body. You can't help us escape the back rooms even if you intend to. The only thing I need escaping from is your ugly clown orange looking face. Focus you two, come on now. Reconcile for a while and let us help each other to escape. 
If you really want to let this nightmare end, Sleepy Joe, then be helpful. Fine. This is too scary for me anyways. I'm already looking for stuff. Just you wait till I find that key I found earlier. No way am I giving it to both of you. Yeah, yeah, cry all you want, you old fart. We are both now ready, Barack, to commence Operation Escape the Backrooms. Since when did we have an operation name? Anyways, be careful, you guys. It seems like there are more than one. Be on the lookout for enemies and items like keys. You do not have to tell me about that, Barack. How about you worry about Sleepy Joe instead? This might be too hard for him. An old fossil might not be able to tolerate this much horror. Shut up, Donald. I am being chased by that guy again. Do something while I act as bait. Yeah, on it right now. Sleepy Joe, hurry up and find the key you were talking about earlier. I am keeping a lookout. Here it is. Barack, I found the key. Come back here already so we can go together and find the exit. It is too late, Sleepy Joe. They already got my ass. Shit. They are too fast for me. I cannot outrun them. There are multiple of them, by the way. Come on now, Barack. Why did you let them get you? You can't leave me here with Mr. President with a two-year-old IQ. Screw you, Donald. I found another key. Who's more useful now, huh? Keep that mouth closed. No one freaking cares, Sleepy Joe. Anyone could find a key or two. Does finding keys make you incredible now, huh? You're still a dumbass. Good job, Donald. I am just keeping watch with you guys while I am spectating right now. I did that, Sleepy Joe. I opened a damn door. What can you say now, huh? I think this is it. To the next area. Wait for me, orange head, so we can both escape. Whoa, I am back from the dead. It was really the next area. Nice job, everyone. I did not imagine that the two of you can work together and pull it off. For your information, I did not work with anyone, Barack. It was all me. Sleepy Joe had nothing to do with my accomplishments. You know what? Screw you and shove an orange up your mouth. Anyways, this place is too scary. Where the heck are we now? Yeah, are we in a sewer somewhere? And this section of the game is totally so dark. I wished our flashlight could light up more when we needed to. Where are we anyways? I think we are going down the floors right now, based from the direction we came and the direction we currently are going. Why the heck are we going down? Maybe it is because you lost to me to the presidential election, haha? -ha. Whoa, am I also down than you, Joe, since you are the president? Of course not, Barack. This only applies to that orange head right there. Shut up, Joe. Before I shove my fist up your face, Maybe what you meant was I am down to earth because I am the most humble person alive. I mean, I know you're dumb, but please get it right. We all know that what you are saying, Donald, is not true. The people can agree with me on this one. I am sure about that. Shut your mouth, Barack. I am going this way. I do not need any of you to escape this stupid backrooms game. Although the vibe is kind of throwing me off because it is scary. Just stop being stubborn, Donald, and guys come and party with me in a room I found. What the hell is the purpose of making this room anyways? Ha ha. The room kind of describes you, Sleepy Joe, not gonna lie. Wait, what? It does? Oh, how sweet of you, Barack. Oh, wait, what do you mean it describes me? In what way? You old fart. It describes how empty and useless you are. Just like the freaking room you found, ha ha. Just how dumb are you for not being able to realize? Screw you, orange-headed clown. I hope you get eaten by the monsters we found. I hope you realize that I am wishing for your downfall. Okay, now shut up, you two. Can we just continue in progressing? How about we try going downstairs since there's no point in going up because we came from there? Yeah, that might be a good idea, Barack. And Joe, can you go in front of me? Just for personal measures? Or you can go ahead and do it for me, Barack, because I told you to do so. No way am I going to be your meat shield shithead. Just shut up and be on the lookout. This is getting way more and more creepier as we continue in progressing into different rooms and different levels. This is just too scary for me. No one forced you to be here, dumbass. Just go ahead and log off. Like I need you to accompany me in escaping here, haha. -ha. Now, now, do not be too mean. And by the way, guys, the lower we go, the darker the place gets. It might mean progress or something bad is about to happen. Yeah, and who the hell keeps clicking their flashlights on and off? It is getting too annoying. Stop that, Joe. How bold of you to assume that it was me, haha. -ha. Anyways, yeah, sure I will stop now. Haha! <laughs> Sleepy Joe tried to play at call, but you seem to have read him like a book, Donald. This is too funny. I kind of forgot we were playing a horror game. Good for you, Barack, being able to forget the game just like that. Oh, how I wish to be you, because my hands are super shaky as of the moment. Scaredy Joe is here again. Let us just hurry up and find the exit to get out of this place, before something else shows up. Shut the heck up, Donald. Do not go ahead and talk like that. You will end up jinxing us again. What the hell? Oh crap, I think the ambiance music just changed, guys. Let us hurry the hell out of here and get moving. Help me find the exit, goddammit. What the hell do you think I have been doing these past minute, Barack? Of course I am. 
Joe, please shout if you find something important. Okay, sure, we'll do, ah. Uh... What the heck did you just find, Sleepy Joe? Come on now, tell us. Haha, <laughs> nothing much. I was just doing a practice on how I would scream to notify you guys. Come on now, why are you two too serious? Oh, screw you, shithead. I hope you die first when something shows out of nowhere. Be my human meat shield so you would have some purpose instead. I feel like we're just going back in circles. Ah, watch out, Sleepy Joe. Ah, what the hell? That scared the living shit out of me. He came out of nowhere. Shit. I am glad that I managed to close the door on time or I would have also been dead meat to that guy. Watch out, Donald. There are more of them. Come to that useless room we found earlier. Wait, let me make sure that he is not near me right now. I just saw him earlier. I gotta show off my juking skills. Forget about that, Donald. Just hurry up and hide somewhere. How about you shut up and go eat some ice creams? Speaking of ice creams, I gotta go. I guess that is all for today, Donald. Goodbye, Barack. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you as well.